Hello, my Sagittarius friends, and welcome. Thank you for joining me here on Patreon. I am doing your June 2018 channeled messages from Spirit. Um, the first thing that I am seeing with you guys is the number one, new beginnings, um, a new start. This is going to be something that is very powerful. This is a very powerful time for you guys. Um, you're going to start seeing huge improvements, um, huge changes, and things that you guys have been wishing for, hoping for, praying for, which you guys have been healing because of. Um, for a group of you, this is... You've been wishing for somebody to return. Um... This is somebody that you already know, somebody you already have been directing your energy towards. They are coming back. Um, your wishes are being granted. You're manifesting this person back into your life. Um, for a group of you, your wealth is improving. Your health is improving. There's just so many improvements that are going to be happening in the month of June that it's going to blow your mind. Um, an important day for you guys, um, to me, I'm seeing June 2nd, which would be tomorrow, Saturday, June 2nd. Um, something, some sort of situation is going to come to you and it's going to give birth to a new, like a new life changing situation, a new person, um, a new opportunity. You're manifesting this right now. And this new person is going to become very important in your life later on. Um, also on this day, a group of you are going to get a, an interesting offer from somebody that you are already directing your energy towards. This would be somebody that you're already coupled with or somebody that you um, have been trying to manifest into your life, somebody that you have been hoping would come back. Um, it's somebody that you are already are using energy towards. Um, overall, though, for love, it's going to be a very good month for you, Sagittarius. You guys are going to be very flirty, very confident, meeting new people, um, having a great time with friends, um, enjoying life again. This past six months over the winter, it's you guys, um, actually this past year for this group of you has been particularly rough. Um, you've been getting over heartbreak, uh, broken relationships, broken marriages, broken homes. Um, and it's taken a lot for you to heal to this point, but this is where all your rewards are coming. All your, all your blessings that you have worked so hard for are coming back towards you in the month of June. Um, you guys are going to feel very sexy, very, um, just, you guys look great. You guys are very confident. Um, yeah, current relationships that are already coupled. You guys are going to have a new spark between the two of you. Um, yeah, there's just going to be a rekindling of love for you guys. Um, be watching for signs uh, from the divine omens um, because they're coming to you in the month of June to show you the direction, to show you your new path. Um, for a group of you, you guys are already on your, the right path, on the right journey. Um, but for those of you who aren't, you are going to figure it out in the month of June. Um, something out of the blue is coming for you guys. Um, a big wish, uh, a big wish is coming your way. For a group of you, I see court hearings coming to an end. For the majority of you, they the outcome is going to benefit you. 
It's going to be something that that you have been hoping for. Um, you're going to be able to release this. You're going to be able to finally put this away um, and move on with your life. For um, a group of you, June 16th is also an important day. This is um, a turning point for a lot of Sagittarius. Um, this is going to be a time of... That's what I'm looking for. You're going to make sure you're grounded that day, for one. Make sure you're very well grounded. Um, you're going to have a very strange day that day. Uh, it's going to cause you to reevaluate some connection in your life with a person. <clears throat> and just be patient, just a little bit longer, because things are coming to you. But this is going to be a big turning point. Um, a lot of you are going to figure out whether this is a benefit to your life or whether you should leave it behind. Um, yeah. Be careful who you trust. Trust only yourself. Follow your own heart. Take a step back and reevaluate everything. And this is going to bring balance to you. Um, this is going to restore balance in your life. And as long as you follow your heart, you will be led in the right path. Um, it's time to let things go. For a group of you, I see you're finally freeing yourself. Um, yeah. Some of you have been tied very tightly with karmic bonds and ties. And for this group of you, it's been very hard. It's been a very long haul, and it's been more of a challenge than what you ever thought it would be to release this person, but you're finally getting it done. Around the 29th, um, this is another big day for Sagittarius as a collective because you guys... How do I want to say that? You have a new dimension that you are going to have the door open to. You, you have a wake-up call coming. And it's going to come in very fast. It's going to be in your face. And you're not going to be able to ignore it. But that's okay. Because by facing this, the door opens. And the door opens to a new dimension a whole new world for you, um, opportunities, relationships. Um, but this re uh, wake up call, this reality check, it has to happen first. Um, for a group of you, I see it the 29th or 30th of June, but you're still going to have an amazing month. This is nothing to fear. Um, you're just going to get it. You're going to one, you're going to wake up and have an aha moment. And by allowing yourself to face that, it's going to allow you to move forward in a very positive direction. Um, for some of you, however, you're resisting change. There is something that is blocking you, and what is blocking you is yourself. Um, you're fearful of the future, and there's really no reason to, to fear anything. Um, You'll make it. You'll be okay. For some of you, you have an addiction. It's time to let that go. Um, yeah. This addiction is destroying your connection with your family, your children, your partner, whatever, whatever connection that is in your immediate space. It's time to put this addiction to rest. Um... Some of you, I see, want to move forward, but there's something or someone exterior to you standing in your way. Um, for some of you, you may want to change locations, but you're financially strapped. Or some of you want to leave a partner, but you feel like you can't. Um, it will work out, is what I'm hearing. Uh, 
for another group of you, by the end of June, you are going to be so emotionally content, so emotionally fulfilled that, yeah, you're finally putting yourself first. You're finally figuring out that self-love benefits everybody, and you are practicing that. Um, for some of you in work, I see you getting new jobs. For some of you, I see you're, you're like presenting to an audience or, or giving a speech or a presentation at work. This is going to skyrocket your, your career. This is going to open new doors to something that you never expected and um, give you opportunities that you couldn't dream of. So be confident if you have to give a presentation, if you're speaking, whatever, um, be confident in that because, because things are coming to you that you never could have guessed. Um, sorry, I'm outside and the bugs are crazy out here. Um, there's a group of you that are, um, contemplating whether or not to, Keep trying for this for a connection that you've had from your past. Um, this group of you that I am talking to, you are either connected to another Sagittarius or a Virgo. If, if your person that you're connecting with is not those sun signs, this message is not for you. That is your twin flame. Don't give up hope. Don't give up. Um, have faith. They are coming back. If they have not reached out to you yet, they will by the end of June, in the next four weeks. Um, so keep the faith. Keep those positive affirmations going. Keep your meditations going. Um, for this group of you, I see you're just ready to walk away. And um, and they're coming. Be patient. Just a little bit longer. Um, and you're going to be glad you did. For those of you who are currently single, are not hoping for someone to return, you guys are also manifesting in people. Um, you're going to meet these or meet this person online. Um, just always use caution when meeting people online, obviously. Um, for another group of you, you're dealing with a soulmate um, who keeps coming in and out of your life. It's time to uh, to stop that energy. It's time to Quit letting them roll all over you. Quit letting them take advantage of you, use you. It's just time to be done. Put that to rest so you can manifest somebody in your life that is going to stay and be there for the right reason. Um, for those of you who are in separation from a spouse, but they act like they're single, but you're still married, that is going to come to an end. Your divorce is going to become final in the month of June. Um, you have been waiting for this for quite some time. Um, you may suffer from like outside opinions or like rumors, um, gossip, that kind of thing. Just keep your head high and uh, the truth always comes out. And for this group of you, you didn't do anything wrong. Um, people will see the truth over time. So just walk the higher road and um, know that it's going to be okay. Um, those with big mouths have small minds. That's something my grandma always said. And it's so true. Um, let them have their opinions. It's, it bothers you. I know it does. I can see it. I can feel it. But it's going to be okay. Um... For those of you who are looking for a job, um, you are going to get in a, a job offer around the around the 16th or 17th. Um, it's going to be a job offer though that you had never thought you would do or seen yourself doing. Um, try it; you're going to like it, and you're going to be successful at it. Um, it's going to come kind of out of the blue, but it's well deserved, and and you're going to enjoy it. For a group of you,
Hmm. Okay, I'll say it just because my guys are selling it to me, but this is not for everybody. Um, I don't really like usually delivering messages along this line, but for some of you who live in this state, there's going to be some sort of natural disaster in June. Um, yeah. Okay, there's going to be some kind of natural disaster in June. For some of you, not all of you, um, it's going to kind of flip everybody's world upside down. Um, be strong, stay strong. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting too much more on that. Just be prepared if like you live in hurricane, a hurricane area, you know, be prepared. If you live in tornado alley, be prepared. You know, it's some kind of natural disaster that's going to hit the states. Um, and now I don't want to put fear in people because we deal with these every summer. Um, but this is really going to shake somebody's world up. It's going to flip, flip us upside down is what I'm hearing. Um, yeah, I'm going to get off that message. I don't like that one. Um, For a group of you, um, I see you guys moving. You're moving to a new location, but you're nervous about it because you don't know if um, this area is really suitable for you. You're going to be fine. Um, you're going to find a house and a job. For another group of you, I see you traveling. You guys are packing your bags, and um, I see you going towards the mountains, um, either Tennessee or Colorado. Those are the two states I'm seeing. You're going to have a beautiful time, and for a group of you, you're going to end up moving to one of those places after visiting on vacation. So, it's a great time to ground yourself and be one with nature, be one with Mother Earth, and um, yeah, you guys are going to have a great time. But really, just in the month of June, get out there, get out there and enjoy the world, get out there and enjoy nature. Um, your connections with other people. You guys are going to have a great month, a fun month. You guys are finally shedding off those uh, that stress and depression from what you've been suffering from the, from the last six to nine months. And you're going to get out there and enjoy life again. And it's going to bring you many blessings, open you many doors, and um, it's going to be good for your soul overall. Um, some of you have twin flames coming back this month. Soulmates, um, some of you are meeting your life partners. It's just going to be a fun month. So get out of your house, have some fun, go with friends, do whatever you want to do, grill, barbecue, whatever. Um, but new things are coming, new beginnings. That's like the main um, theme of your guys' uh, messages this month is just new starting over shedding your old skin and getting out there, put yourself out there and, um, enjoy summer. So with that being said, this is goodbye. I will see you next time. I hope you have a beautiful June and may God bless your path with love and light.